Hey everyone, Christy here, and today's video I want to discuss a serious topic. I recently received a death threat on my channel, and so I thought that it would be a good opportunity for me to give my thoughts, uh, reactions, and also how I'm going to deal with those kinds of threats on my channel. So, uh, let's get started. There are many YouTube milestones. The first 100 views that you get, the first 100 subscribers, the first 1,000 views you get on your video. And unfortunately, another milestone is harassment and threats on YouTube. Now, in this particular case, the person writing it is very clear that they're threatening me because I'm a feminist. Uh, they called me a feminazi whore and said that they should dox me in order to show me who's boss on YouTube. They also later asked if uh, I should tell them I should let them know if I wanted to die. And I'll show um, at least the second threat. So what I'd like to do is really, instead of, like I said, responding to that person, demonstrate how, and I'm going to assume it's a he, <laughs> you can be upset about that, but I think it's the most logical. I did try to check into it, but I couldn't find it for sure. But this person is actually the reason why we need feminism, because he is suffering from the problems of toxic masculinity and religious patriarchy, even though he claims to be an atheist. When I first saw the doxing threat, there was an initial, I should dox her, and then uh, there was a specific doxing threat in terms of my private information being released online. That I reported to YouTube, and as a consequence, that person was then uh, blocked from my channel. But after having done that, I saw that they had put a link into another threatening email or message. But that needs approval because uh, whenever you have a hyperlink in a, in a video, YouTube wants to know if it's spam. So I've, I've got the screenshot here of what they wrote. And then here is the person's channel. As I said, this was directed at me because I call myself a feminist on my channel art. It's listed as liberal atheist, feminist, social scientist, nerd, I think. And I consider myself a feminist atheist in that order. I'm a feminist first and then I'm an atheist. And my passion for combining feminism and atheism is really to expose and critique religious patriarchy. The problems with patriarchy, among the many problems, is that it has a fallacy of essentialism. It defines people's worth by whether or not they possess a sex organ. It's also based on violence and the threat of violence. In order to maintain the power structure, it doesn't rest on reason or argument. And it also promotes toxic notions of masculinity and femininity that I think are very harmful to our society. And in terms of my feminist critique as applied, I really want to focus on critiquing the Bible as a misogynistic and patriarchal text. I want to demonstrate how the very cancerous and vile notions of patriarchy still permeate our social norms today and how they are completely incompatible with egalitarianism. Feminism definitely informs my atheism. Uh, I've done a series called G-O-D or O-B-G-Y-N where I focus on the lack of women's existence in the biblical text, the lack, the lack of any women characters. And generally I've gotten very positive reactions from the YouTube community about my videos and those videos that I have a feminist theme as well. So in terms of you know, feminists being man-hating and that kind of garbage, um, you know, those positive reactions, I think, are very much evidence against the idea that feminists are not welcome in either YouTube or an atheist community. The reaction from my audience, as I said, was positive, and my audience, looking at the statistics, is almost 80% male. And I've really had only positive experiences on my channel. My subscribers are great. The people who watch my videos and comment are really interesting people that I'd love to have a coffee with sometime just to, you know, hear more and chat more with them. So it certainly is not the case that I, as an atheist um, feminist or a feminist atheist, am driving men away from my channel. In fact, they definitely enjoy the content and the critique that I bring. I received two types of threats. One was a doxing threat and the other one was a death threat. And both of these were in response to a video that I did called Researching New Atheism. 
Um, it's not even about feminism, and the video isn't even about me. I'm interviewing an academic about the study of new atheism and social sciences. So this um, user was clearly not re reacting in any meaningful way to the content of the video while they were calling me a feminazi whore. What I'd like to do is step back and look at the language that this person used and make some inferences based on what we're seeing. So I think the first thing we conclude is they're not very bright. Right? They're not even reacting to the content in the video. They seem to have seen feminist in my channel art and found the first video that was posted and reacted calling me a feminazi whore and saying that I should be ducked to show me who's boss on YouTube. They start off with a threat. There's no intellectual con concepts, no intellectual arguments, because they have no intellectual contributions to make. Because this person can't think, he relies on intimidation. This is exactly the same mentality that we see in religious patriarchy and in religious extremism. You know, the people who are shooting up uh, newspapers and shooting up free speech discussions are trying to intimidate us into, be, into silence. And this person is doing the same thing. They are attacking an atheist in order to silence me because I am a feminist. Because this person can't engage intellectually with the content and they can't beat me on the arguments, they then have to result to their fists, which is a sure sign that you um, don't have a brain. You're behaving like a, the a Neanderthal, but that's sort of maybe insulting to Neanderthals. And so we know that this person does not deserve any respect because they haven't done anything to demonstrate they have any intellectual contributions to make. So having established that this author is mentally stunted, we can then examine the types of patriarchal language that he used and the meaning that is driving the use of his language. Because the author is too thick to think clearly and make arguments, he falls back on the sexist norms of religious patriarchy in order to empower him over those that he cannot intellectually counter. His use of patriarchy elevates the penis and denies women their humanity by defining us in terms of how we relate to men or how we relate sexually to men. So his use of the term whore repeatedly shows that really the man who wrote this is no different from the religious extremists who want to force women into burqas and silence them, uh, keep them aside in order to stop them from asking hard questions. And so it's not only stupid, but it's cruel and mean. To compensate for his failure to perform, he adopts the norms of religious patriarchy, which is constructed on the idea of women's fundamental inequality and the use of violence to enforce an unfair power structure. The person who wrote this shows that we need feminism, and he needs feminism, because he can't even see the fact that he's indistinguishable from the religious extremists who want to force women to wear burqas, stay indoors, and not become educated, and to kill them in order to protect male honor. So let me say this again, there's really no discernible difference between the attitudes of the Taliban toward women and the asshole who posted these threats who claims to be an atheist. In terms of how I'm going to tolerate this kind of behavior on my channel, I am generally pretty tolerant of saying offensive things, name calling within reason in terms of that's stupid, those sorts of things I'm not going to police. Threats are clearly a different category. Docs threats rape threats, and death threats will not be tolerated on my channel in the comments. If you see a post that threatens another person or you with harm, either report that person or let me know and I will report them. Heated debates are fine, but on my channel I will not allow the publication of comments that make another person or me feel physically threatened. If your only response to a video or a comment on a video is to make threats and intimidate people, then fuck off. I don't want you here. I don't want you around. You really aren't contributing anything. You're just messing up the dialogue that everybody else is having. So that's pretty much all I have to say on the subject. This is going to be my standing opinion on what free speech limits are and the use of threats on my channel. And I thank you for your time, your consideration, and I'll see you guys later on with a video not about this topic. Bye.